Hey guys, welcome to DevTech Finance and in this video we would be learning about customer relationship management. So starting with the contents for this video, we would be going through introduction to CRM, CRM process, CRM systems, RFM analysis, cross deep and upselling and lastly benefits of CRM. So let's get started with introduction. Customer relationship management include strategies and processes for acquiring and retaining customers to create superior value for both company and customers. So exactly customer relationship management has come into existence to build a long term relationship with the customers so that the added value to the business organization could be over a, a longer period of time and could create a customer equity in the business environment. So as we know that marketing has developed over the phases over the years from very production concept where the total focus was on making production uh, then to selling concept where the focus moved on to selling as much as possible to the latest which is marketing concept which is dealing with total customer satisfaction. So today the uh, the business entities are competing on the basis of retaining more and more customer, capturing more market value and how to satisfy customer to build a long term relation so that the customers don't leave that organization and become a habitual of getting products from there, products and services from there. So this is how customer relationship management has come into existence to uh, to capture the share in the market and build the profitability. It's a more broader approach and a long term perspective where we are not just uh, focusing on a single time period, but uh, the business is focusing on a longer time period over over viewing its profitability and revenue from the customer base it is having. Now CRM is a technology driven strategy that aims to strengthen business operations and build a mutually valuable long term relation with customers. So as the definition says it is technology driven strategy CRM is is uh, confined by technology. So there are softwares which are supporting how to manage relationship with the customers and how to retain them, how to acquire them and how to satisfy your customers by understanding their needs and utilizing all the valuable feedbacks in developing the product in accordance with their thoughts and views in accordance with their preferences. So this is how the technology built in in CRM helps in analyzing the customer data, their preferences and all. And this is all done to build a mutually valuable long term relation. As I said, it is a long term perspective for which the CRM tools comes into existence and it should be mutually valuable. So in one side, from the business point of view, we are focusing on earning revenues from the customers and on the other side, we are equally satisfying our customers. We are making this, them satisfied with the products and services provided. So the business relation is equally valuable to both the parties and not just one of the party. Moving on to uh, the basic structure of CRM, as I said, it is technology driven focusing on customer. So various technologies goes at such from data mining to database formation, data analysis and automation of processes. So in data mining, what uh, the CRM system tries, it tries to capture the data from various customers, their name, their preferences, their address, uh, what has been their past buying behavior, what was the frequency of their buying, all these things, how, how frequently they purchase from a particular website and what is the monetary value of that purchase. So all these things gives an information about the customer that what could be the preferences of this customer. Can there be any related items to present? So for example, Amazon, when you go, uh, you will see there is something like uh, uh, related to your purchase behavior. It gives you recommendations 
uh, and it is a source like recently viewed items or items that is bought along with what you have bought. So many such things which is possible because of data analysis and data mining because what happens is that CRM software captures your uh, past behavior. It captures what you are habitual of purchasing and how it would be and how what products to offer to you which would be useful for you. So this is how data mining gives many information as such as uh, many uh, softwares captures your name and address your date of birth. So every time when every year when your birth date comes, it uh, pops you a message uh, along with your name that happy birthday uh, along with uh, your particular name, which makes you feel more aligned and more uh, involved with that business, more involved and more satisfied with that business that you are getting value, you are getting some some kind of uh, recognition from that. So these all things are being done in today's business environment uh, rapidly to gain customers, to attract customers and to build a positioning in the minds of customer. So data mining, capturing the data of customers, then database crea creation. So not just capturing the data. After you have captured the data, you have to create it in a proper database formation so that every time you require a particular data, you can, you can uh, extract it and form the analysis on the basis of that. And then comes the data analysis after having the whole captured data and forming it into a particular database. What do the technology in CRM do is it to make analysis that what could be offered as product to that particular customer. Uh, how much, uh, how, what mails should be sent, what could be the, the customer's preferences, what items to show to uh, those customers and how to build a long relation with customers, what loyalty programs to provide, what discount offers to provide on the basis of their buying pattern and how likely is the customer to change their buying pattern over the period of time so we can't stick to a single pattern so every time we need to have a quality data structure uh, relevant data that could be useful so for example if uh, uh, in uh, data capturing the address of customer was captured and uh, so the customer had changed its address over the years now we can't send the now if we are delivering any product we can't uh, send the product to the uh, same old address so it need to be updated there should be updated data and there should be current information related to the customer so uh, which would give a visualization of what customer is in want and what it would be its preference. Then automation of data after automation of processes after you have uh, analyzed all the data make it automatic. So every time your customer is viewing your website it gets what it wants without must uh, without must uh, much uh, time to waste over there without much. Uh, problems they could simply just browse and get whatever they want and uh, get many recommendations which would be suitable to their needs and preferences so this is how process automation could be done a timely uh, a timely reporting of mails and mails and messages to make customers aware of the new products and new services which they they may like according to their preferences so this is how CRM deals with the technology factor and this all is done to create customer, to develop the customer over time, to enhance the relationship with those customer and finally to retain the customer. Because we talked CRM is about long term perspective and building customer equity. So we are trying to build in relation where we are excellent in retaining our customers and not losing customer to our competitors because it is uh, very necessary in today's competitive environment of business to build a barrier for for the competitors and retain customers and acquire more new customers as much as possible to gain the profitability and revenue now let's see the crm process so it moves like you are having a customer database which we care which we captured uh, through various uh, uh, questionnaires surveys and uh, analyzing the feedback of customers uh, getting their data their detailed information this is how we built a customer database and after that we passed it through CRM software which did the data analysis, the data mining and all and which automated the processes to provide to the customer 
and this whole process automation and data capturing and uh, scheduling of data accordingly created a relationship with the customer and we can also analyze the relationship history with the customer so how the customers was able to behave with the business what was a relationship how much money it uh, invested uh, how much money it was uh, it was providing to purchase any product or services monthly or on yearly basis or in a day we can uh, we can analyze the relationship of the customer is it increasing over time so the money which the customer was spending in our business is it increasing over time over time is it stagnant or is it decreasing so we can analyze the relationship history if it is decreasing there is some sort of problem that customer may be moving to the competitor or the customer may be dissatisfied with our service so it provides a trigger that you need to uh, you need to retain your customer because you may lose because the customer is dissatisfied and the monetary value which uh, the customer used to spend on your business is decreasing so before any bad thing happens it is like being proactive and taking steps to uh, taking steps to make corrective actions and retain the customers and build a build a good relationship with the customer relationship history which uh, leads to customer analytics so we are analyzing the customers changes in behaviors and patterns just to make sure that the customer is satisfied with the kind of product and services we are providing and the personalized marketing so it's very important that uh, today not just satisfying customer but making customer Uh, expect more than satisfaction making them delightful so doing personalized marketing uh, for example when you go to starbucks uh, they present you the coffee mugs with your name so this was a strategy to build in that they are uh, specially making uh, that coffee for you and they are making you feel special so this is how personalized marketing is in banks many a times according to your preferences according to your uh, according to your choices banks provide products by customizing it and telling you what would be the best thing for you and this is how personalized marketing comes into picture more than that you can also take an example of automobile sector where wherein the audi design cars for its customers uh, as per your uh, as per your requirement the color and all whatever you want the function the features the color as you required so it may get into your requirements and design a car for you so this is how personalized marketing plays an important role because you are making customers that their feedback their requirements are valuable to the company and the company is doing best to provide it to you which competitors may not be providing and after following this whole crm process we create a customer satisfaction customer loyalty and which built in the customer retention moving on to crm system so there is analytical system operational system and collaborative crm system so analytical crm denotes the systematic electronic analysis of collated customer data it consists of the following components the data warehouse data mining module and olap tools that is online analytical processing so analytical crm is the one aspect of crm which do which deals with analysis of customer relationship management so overall analyzing the customer data providing providing reports on how to how to gain the satisfaction how to give the satisfaction level to the customer what is the customer behavior what could be the likely chances of retaining the customer what could be the customer equity value the monetary value as all we discussed and then comes the operational crm a crm system that connects and supports the sales marketing and customer service function in a company building a framework to provide customer support so operational crm is uh, designing the whole process for the customer satisfaction so the whole process management the system the delivery channels everything so for example in contact is uh, contact center management or or uh, we you can say call centers what happened that uh, the whole process is designed the uh, the the agents are uh, 
the agents are confined to that roles of receiving the calls of the customers in case of any inquiries in case of any disputes or to solve the customer's problem and it has to be designed in such a way that no customer is dissatisfied every time a customer calls the agent is there to deal with that customer and to resolve the problem and not just to listen it but try to resolve the problem so that you are retaining your customers and you are not losing your customers so this is how the whole program uh, whole uh, processes should be developed so that any mismatch of the functions does not happen and any customer is not dissatisfied because there is likelihood chances of the customer who is dissatisfied to lose the business from that customer then comes the collaborative crm it is a method where a company gives a common platform to build synergy among all stakeholders for business process in improvement product innovation pricing customer or employee retention so collaborative crm takes into picture both those both these things the analytical part the operational part all to make the process improvement to a uh, to a good level to satisfy all the stakeholders for the business and not just the customers but the the uh, service providers the suppliers the the stakeholders whoever is interested in those business operations to take care of all those all those persons because they are adding some value to the business operation making product innovation setting out the price which could be at the which could be competitive enough and as well as uh, as well as adding value to the organization and satisfying the customers also so creating such a pricing strategy and trying to uh, retain our customer as well as employees working there because employees are also a kind of stakeholder for the business so collaborative crm takes into picture not just customer but all those stakeholders who are somewhat interested in business operations and build a synergy among all to provide the best uh, output over there let's see rfm analysis so rfm analysis is also a part of crm which is done to analyze the recency frequency and monetary value it is a marketing technique used to determine quantitatively which customers are the best ones by examining how recently a customer has purchased how often they purchase and how much the customer spends so it's very important in today's customer relationship management that you divide you segment the customer according to their uh, monetary value their recency their frequency so that you can decide which customers to target at what point of time so the customer who is adding more value to your business who is purchasing a good amount who is spending a good amount on your business that's uh, more preferable customers and that should be more that should be more focused on to make the business grow to earn more profitability recency what what does it uh, let's uh, understand this with example so for example uh, we all are having accounts in any bank so what happens at a particular point of time after uh, the uh, bank may realize that the customer is having the account but it has turned into a dormant account so the customer is having account but not making transactions so uh, after a particular period of time what would happen that the customer would uh, would keep on having that account but is not adding value to any value to that banking business so transactions are not happening what bank could do is uh, analyzing why is customer turned from active to inactive customers so before all this happened it could have uh, taken necessary steps to stop it from uh, to stop it from uh, uh turning the uh, customer into a dormant account so depending on the past behavior recency factors comes into existence it it would trigger to indicate that customer is turning out to be inactive and this is the right time to take necessary actions uh, send them mails and messages try to understand the problem and try to retain the customer don't let it be uh, invaluable for your business so this is what recency uh, gives an idea about how recently the customer is using your product is using your services uh, is your customer is your customer involved with your business if not it's the perfect time to trigger the customer and say that these all things are being provided and try to retain the customer by uh, satisfying them understanding the issues then frequency frequency is also number of times the customer is using your service so if frequency increases 
keep customers upgraded and add more benefits to build a relation capitalize and build the uh, and beat the competitor this is what should be tried if frequency decreases try to figure out the reason and try to get back and retain the customers so for example ola and uber rides two of the competitors so many a time it happens that the customers are uh, the customer was using ola rides but after a few moment of time it turned out to uber so ola must be realizing how frequent the customer was using was it using our ola service uh um, seven times in a month or four times in a month which has now been decreased to one or two time or uh, has customer stopped using the service over from two to three months has it turned out to its competitor so this all should be analyzed and as soon as possible there should be some kind of trigger to indicate that this is the right time you should uh, send uh, you should try to contact with the customer through mail or messages and try to retain the customer by providing discounts or uh, uh, providing any new program any offer and getting the valuable feedback so that uh, uh, the business could work on that feedback then the monetary value monetary value is amount of purchases made by the customer so it is showing the how much money the customer is spend, uh, spending in particular transaction so if the monetary value of the customer is increasing over a period of time it shows that customer is highly satisfied and customer and customer is highly satisfied and likely to spend more uh, in that uh, particular to purchase that particular product or service but if it is decreasing there is decrease in value so it may be that customer is not so satisfied or there is some kind of change in the buying pattern so for example uh, on the e-commerce website customer was previously used to buy only groceries and clothes but now it has started buying the electronic appliances the refrigerators and all which has increased the monetary value so the customer has become more Uh, the customer has become more trustworthy towards the e-commerce website and it has now been uh, flexible enough to order the appliances also online so it has increased the value for the business and this is how monetary value plays an important role so the business should always try to understand that the monetary value does not go down uh, which would indicate customer dissatisfaction shifting to competitor so there would be a trigger to take marketing action as soon as possible now there is a concept called cross keep and up selling which is very relevant in today's market uh, in today's marketing so cross selling is selling related products along with the main product deep selling is selling more quantity of the same product and up selling is selling high value of same product during purchase so what happens in cross selling if the customer is approaching you to buy a particular phone so you are providing uh, the customer not with just the phone you are also offering the cover of the phone the accessories like earphones and all so you are not just to uh, selling the main product which customer came to buy but also you are selling some more products uh, which act as a accessories with that product so some related products you are also offering to the customer and you have been able to sell that so this is what this is how you have been able to do the cross selling you have uh, increased your monetary value by offering more products along with the main product for which the customer actually came then deep selling is selling more quantity of the same product so for example we can uh, take insurance whenever we go to bank to buy any insurance policy what they used to do they they used to offer you some more insurance policies not just for you but for your children's your wife uh, at such so it uh, so they are trying to sell more quantity of the same product you went there to buy a single insurance policy but they are offering you um, uh, they are offering you more insurance policies along with that uh, by telling the benefits that you could purchase this for for your family as well you could purchase a health insurance as well so selling more quantity of the same product would if the seller would be able to do that it would be considered as deep selling and in such way it would uh, increase the value for the business because at the single point of contact you have been able to sell more uh, rather than what the customer came for 
and this should be done very precisely because there are likely chances that you would lose the customer and he would be he would be irritated and not buy even that product which he came to buy so it should be done in a proper manner that you made the make the customer understand about the product the related product how it would be useful along with that and once he would be convinced then you would be able to sell that and not just uh, forcing to uh, forcing to avail many products at a single point of time then upselling it selling high value of the same product during purchase so the customer has came to purchase uh, any uh, any phone brand you are offering a high value phone brand of uh, the same so the brand is same but you are offering a high value the more gb uh, the more gb ram phone which would cost a little higher than the previous phone so this this would be an example of upselling because you are selling high value of the same product to the customer and the, as i said all this cross selling deep selling and up selling need to be done very precisely so that you are satisfying the customer and not irritating or forcing the customer to purchase many products at the same time now as we have discussed a lot about crm we can now look into the benefits of crm so better data organization as we saw that the crm helps in maintaining the customer database enhanced communication with customers so to maintain the relationship with customer there should be an enhanced communication through through different channels like emails messages phone calls all these uh, on the websites internet and all so enhanced communication and trying to communicate with customers on the platform which the customer would preferably answering upon shared information so there should be a shared information about the customers the customer should be aware about the products and services being offered the discounts and all things where the dis discounts loyalty programs rewards all these things being provided catching all leads so you are not missing on the leads you are catching all the potential customers the acquiring the customers so this is uh, this was also one of the benefit of crm automated workflows and actions so processes has been automated which uh, which would do, which would triggers at the point what what actions need to be taken and efficient follow up so not just uh, not just uh, acquiring the customer and retaining it but there should be an efficient follow up to look at the customers uh, whether they are satisfied or not over a period of time so we can't stick to a particular point of time we need to do a regular follow up what else could be offered how else it could be improved how uh, the relation should could be built more stronger and creating a customer loyalty and equity over a period of time So thank you for watching this was all about your customer relationship management i hope you like the video do like and share subscribe to my channel devtech finance thank you